Hello, my name is M.K. Davis. You know, a couple of years ago, uh, we had a massive tornado come through my area. Uh, and this thing uh, started over in Louisiana across the Mississippi River and came my way and ended up uh, traveling all the way across the state. Uh, and it was about, uh, at some places, almost two miles wide. And, and there was tremendous uh, deadfall from it. Uh, you know, the trees that are now been dead for a couple of years. Uh, but in, right after the tornado, we had an influx of uh, carrion eating birds, you know, the, uh, the, the buzzards or Mississippi condors, I'll call them. Uh, they came in from just everywhere. I mean, we just had an overabundance of them, and, and they were, uh, uh, you know, there seemed to be plenty to eat uh, because the animals killed, you know, in the storm. Uh, but since then, in the last couple of years, uh, uh, it's been pretty slim pickings for them. And, and <laughs> I, I, I walk every day for my health, and I got to notice and these birds seem to be uh, accumulating in the trees, uh, you know, watching me walk. And I, I knew I had some health issues, but I just wondered if, you know, maybe they didn't know it too. Uh, they they kind of, the way they were giving me the look. And so I, I began to take my camera with me. Uh, to document this uh, this huge influx of carrion eating, post mortem disassembling birds. Uh, so uh, here's one of them right here, uh, and, and you know he's just kind of sitting up there watching me. And the next thing you know, there's two of them, and one of them appears to be praying. Uh, you ever seen that famous portrait of the eagles praying? Well, we've got praying buzzards where I live, uh, and uh, so, yeah, you know, uh, maybe they're praying before a meal. I don't know. I, I get nervous when I'm ar around these guys, and I'll show you why. Here's two roadkill technicians, uh, two scrappy ones, uh, that took took the roadkill away from a pit bulldog. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, times are getting tough around my parts. Uh, you know, uh, even the buzzards are having a hard time making a living. Uh, so they, they challenged the bulldog and took it away from him. Uh, so, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, when I, when I go walking, you know, I, I, I better not fall down. If I do, I better get up quick. Now, last but not least, uh, as I was driving home, uh, through a back road, uh, the other day, and it was kind of a, you know, a foggy day, um, uh, and I, I, I turned around a curve, uh, and... Guess who was there waiting for me? Uh, my old friends, the Mississippi Condors again. Uh, it looked like they were laying up for me. They had a roadblock. Um, I stopped for a minute and just kind of, wow, I assessed the situation and then I decided to just try to push my way through them. Uh, and if you just watch the video, you know, you can see that there's plenty of them in the trees. They were all around. Uh, they were even behind me as I came through. Uh, so I'm guessing 40 to 50, uh, of these guys. Uh, so, you know, it, it's, uh, I'd say mother nature may be out of balance or, or maybe, maybe they've just been watching me and they're, uh, and, and I look kind of tasty. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, take a look at this video. Well, it's time for my walk now. If, I, if you don't see any more videos from me, uh, I thank you for your time.